hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to learn the topic central net so this is our uh, gui of the fortiget firewall so what happens in central net usually what happens when we create a firewall policy in that firewall policy only we can define the what kind of net we are using whether we are using the port atlas translation net or we are using the uh, source uh, one to one net overload net fixed port range net or port block allocation net but that comes under the firewall policy but what happens when we enable a central net when we enable a central net I will show you how you can enable the central net you have to go over here and just enable it and apply before that I will show you the difference see you can see the firewall policies there is no policy for central net okay now once you enable the central net see central net section is now getting uh, enabled over here and you can see destination net and virtual IPs as well okay so in central net you have to create a separate uh, policy for netting so we'll just configure the normal firewall policy as of now see you guys can see central net is enabled so net settings from matching central net will get will be applied okay so you have to create a uh, dedicated uh, netting policies in the central net section So this is how you can create a central net policy. Incoming interface is port 2, outgoing interface is port 1. So as discussed in the previous lecture, you can use a source outgoing interface address which is the source net similar to PAT. So all the IP address coming from the inside zone will be get translated to the IP address of port 1 interface and you can use the dynamic IP pool options here you can def you know uh, in the earlier videos I have uh, show you how you can configure overload and other types of NATs you can similar way you can use here also but there are extra options also over here you can use the uh, protocol uh, like what kind of protocol you want to allow you just want to allow TCP UDP or SCP or any specify so in our case I will keep it as any and I will uh, uh, use source outgoing interface okay now I'll uh, try to ping from the systems I will define give them IP slash 24 10.1.1.1 sorry not we are able to reach to the internet so this is our WAN IP I will check whether uh, PAT is happening or not One dot two is getting translated to the WAN IP address only. dot three will also get an IP address in the same uh, IP 
and it will assign a different pole now uh, we'll uh, you know we'll try some you know manipulation over here we will try with some with some another method just doing dynamic ip and pool say for example test and i'll not use overload because overload is same as pat unless and until you unless and until you don't define multiple ip address i will uh, say 1 to 1 nat 192.168 0 0.9 192 168 0 0.9 okay and I'll hit it now you can you know I have given only one IP over address over here 0 0.9 so this PC okay let me check with this PC why is it not able to communicate with the internet one at 192.168.0.9 let me check in 40 gate ok translation translation is happening but not sure why it's not able to communicate with the internet what I'll do I think this IP is assigned somewhere in my system I will uh, give another IP say for example 15 and I will give 15 only over here select test only hit on ok ok so that 9 IP address was reserved somewhere in my system in my system cloud but this IP will not communicate you know why because I have given only one IP address range in that pool see it's 15 so what I'll do I'll show you some magic I'll keep a repeat repeat count from you over here ok so it will get an IP address of 15 but 10.1.1.3 is not getting any IP so I will try to resolve that issue I will show you I will give a 16 IP over here because it is a one to one NAT PAT is disabled over there even if uh, even if uh, you, uh, like uh, uh, you are having multiple IP address and that IP address are used by other users that IP address will not be shared because all the ports of that IP address will be used for one specific user only now we can see the communication happening it will work see because I have increased I have given two IP addresses see it will show the logs it yeah 1.3 is getting translated to 192.168.0.16 Similarly, you can do manipulation for other uh, other uh, types of nets as well. There are many other nets. One to one, fixed port range, port block allocation. So, I hope you guys will have uh, like this video and uh, like you will have uh, understand the concept of central net. Central net is simple. Okay, you just you know in f earlier in earlier concepts uh, we we're assigning the NAT policies in the firewall policies only but that is when you enable central NAT you have to dedicatedly dedicatedly create a central NAT policy in the 40 gate firewall okay so thank you so much guys for watching my video stay tuned for upcoming videos thank you